What's up, Brown Tong here, back from Hawaii and then Comic-Con. Whew, that was really a hard vacation. Welcome to the Apple Buy for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. We're still in a holding pattern for the next big product drops, <clears throat> iPhone, but there's always something happening, like when people are bored. They decide to make nice looking renders of what they hope the next iPhone 8's top bar will look like instead of the black notch that jets out around the cameras and sensors that we've seen before. Now this is what I want. It would look so much slicker. And yeah, you know, Galaxy S8-ish, but so what? We'll wait and see. Now the iPhone 8's OLED display will be manufactured and supplied exclusively by Samsung. Reports say Apple has signed a deal for a supply of up to 160 million curved OLED panels over the next two years. But according to ET News, Apple is developing its own OLED tech, setting up a research and development line in Taiwan just for OLED screens with the goal of moving away from Samsung as its sole supplier. Now the report says Apple has purchased chemical vapor deposition machines, which are used to make OLED panels, but look like they could make you a nice brew as well. But they won't. Now Apple could license the machines to manufacturing partners like Foxconn or Pegatron to open up the OLED supply chain, building more screens for devices like the iPhone, Apple Watch, or the second gen HomePod with the screen. See, I just completely made up that HomePod part to see if you are still paying attention. That's not happening. Or is it? Now if you're still trying to narrow down when we'll see the next Apple Watch 3, Quanta is one of its manufacturers and the revenue projections would line up with the new Apple Watch coming in the third quarter of this year around September. Rumors have pointed to everything from better battery life to a cellular connection and improved health biometric sensors with the same form factor for the next Apple Watch, but come on, come on, give me that Dick Tracy style FaceTime on that bad boy. That's what I want. All right, the third public beta is for iOS 11, watchOS, tvOS, and yes, Marcos. They're out now with a few minor tweaks and improvements based on the fourth developer's release. I'm okay to throw it on my iPad, but I'm not an eager beaver like some of you who just want to put on everything. It's still a beta with bugs and it's not worth it to drop it on my primary phone. Okay, Adobe is finally killing Flash. It's him! It's him! No, not that one. This one. Yeah, that doesn't look nearly as cool, but for reals this time, after they announced that they will end of life the plugin by the end of 2020. And guess what? Some of you already just wrote in the comments, Flash has already been dead in all caps with an exclamation mark or three. Now, Adobe says it's working with companies to prepare for the upcoming death of Flash, you know, the one Steve Jobs famously wrote about in an open letter back in April of 2010 because of its poor reliability and security, modern options like open source HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript, poor battery life, and its lack of support for touch. See, Jobs was right on the money about Flash just seven plus years ago. All right, a new report from Reuters says iRobot, the creators of the Roomba vacuum, is looking to expand in the smart home world and will start collecting mapping from people's homes. Now, iRobot CEO then wants to sell it to companies like Apple to improve their smart home information. That's not creepy at all. The hope is that the data would help accessory makers have a better idea about how homes are laid out. Customers would have to give their permission to use the data, but Apple, Amazon, and Alphabet, you know, formerly Google, are all fans of the technology. And if you missed it, Apple and The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, released a four minute movie featuring a day in the life with The Rock and Siri, where he's challenged to do pretty much everything. Hey Siri, read me my last email. At 9.30 a.m., Visvan sent you an email about, Mr. Nakamura can discuss your fashion line. Everything in life is made up of four elements. Wind, fire, water, rock. Hey Siri, how many ounces in a centiliter? One centiliter is 0.34 fluid ounces. Je sens ce que l'Europe nous mijote. Merci, give me ça. So, what'd you guys all think of that? It doesn't matter what you think! All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. You can email us at theapplebite at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple.